Good evening and welcome back. So we've had to make quite a few changes today and as you can see there's quite a few tired bodies plus downward conditions. The lineup we're going over today is Manuel Neuer, the regen in goal, a back four of Joaquin on the right, Kosanu, Gvardio, one of the new signings, back at left back, Herrera, Kangan Lee, the star signing Pedri in that attack midfielder role, Martinelli up top, Mudrick on the left and Diaby on the right. Lovely looking stadium during the day. Back at home. I believe the next match is against Chelsea in the Champions League. And then we've got a big match against Barcelona as well. So the games are coming thick and fast. Only a two or three days between each game. Which is why I've had to rotate. And that's why I started whacking at that right back position. Obviously he's only 16. Regen. He's, he's really like an attacking midfielder or a wide player. Um, but he did pretty well the last time he played in that right back position. Trippier, who is our number one choice there, well our only choice technically at the moment, he has been fantastic this season. I haven't looked, but I would believe he may be our top assister so far this season. He's got at least five, I think. Um, here's DRB. Oh, he gets that all straight away. But we need to rest him. Um, Debussy will be coming back in January, I believe, which will be good to have that cover. Having two right backs is key. Martinelli. Normally starts on the left, but he's starting up top today. Castro having a rest. And Herrera back in. Got to see him. One of the uh, original signings. Pedri. Now Joaquin. Back to Diaby. Now Pedri. And it's deflected and in. Pedri gets another goal. That's his third of the season. Bit of luck in this one. I think it's his third. It's at least his third anyway. He's got a couple of assists as well. Nice play by Giorbi. But yeah, get lucky with the deflection. Don't often get them. Quite often the AI will block almost every shot you take from sort of outside the box. This time it actually goes to our advantage. And uh, yeah, Pedri is such an amazing player. It's a ridiculous signing. On loan for now, but he will be made permanent. Probably January or February time when we've got enough in this salary budget. Which you don't have at the moment. We will though. I guarantee that we'll sign him permanently. I've also changed um, the scouting, so because I haven't used them at all, I just tend to ignore it. But there is a couple of players that I'm after, and they're both central midfielders. So two minutes, I'll get back to that in a moment. Here's Martinelli, all oh, wide. But there is a bit of a trick you can do with scouting. So what I've done is I always look for players that are still developing. That's one of the options. And you can search for a very specific position. So I've picked cent literally centre midfielder. And you can actually search for spef specific countries. I've just selected Europe because, um, well, the two I'm after play in different countries, I believe. Um, but they're both in Europe. Now, that's not a guarantee that they'll come up in the scouting. But it's more likely that they will compared to the players I was getting. I was previously just searching for any position but developing. And now and again you'll get someone that you genuinely may want to sign. Now what scouting does is it just m makes the negotiations easier. Oh, here's Martinelli. Now Kangen Lee on the left here. Can't quite get there. It's not strong enough. Here's... Oh, I thought Pedri was going to get it. But Herrera does. Now Joaquin, nice ball to him. Diaby now. Back on the overlap. Ah, it's simple. Simple catch. Yeah, but what scouting does, if you scout a player, 
say if I scouted Martinelli now, uh, he wasn't at the club. Uh, previously, you know, it'd be quite difficult to sign. It makes it easier, and you're more likely to be able to offer maybe less amount. Um, I don't know percentage-wise or anything like that, but it, it does make it easier, and you're more likely to get a better deal. Um, maybe if a player you couldn't sign previously was almost impossible, um, it may make it possible. If you could sign a player previously, it just may, may make it mean that you can offer less money, less salary. So in the hope that these, these are regens that I'm after, but they're worth quite a lot of money and probably a decent salary as well. I'm hoping that they'll come up so we don't have to offer like the release fee um, and that they're more likely to sign for us. That's what I'm hoping for. Now if they don't come up, I'm still going to put in bids for them. So, Oh, nice play to DRB here and a great finish with his right foot. Great play there from Martinelli. Mudrick into Martinelli, who's central today. Lovely ball. And Diaby reacts very quickly. Great finish. One touch, then a pass. And defenders on the back foot. Lovely strike. But yeah, that's just one little tip for the scouting. Try and utilise it if you can. I don't use it too much because it is random what players you scout. And a lot of the time it's players you really don't want. Um, but I would say if there's a couple of players you really fancy signing. Um, try and focus on, right, okay, what position. It, it has to be their primary position. Um so yes they may play in multiple position, but what position does it say is their primary position? Uh, that should be half time. And it is. Comfortable first half there. Diaby with a, a goal and an assist in that half. Pedri with a goal too. Ideally, going back to that scouting, if you've got... Oh, hang on a minute. I can never finish with it. Pedri again. Oh, well wide. Yeah. If, for example, because there is two specific central midfielders that I'm going after, I'm probably not going to try and get both, but I'll scout them and hope that at least one of them will come up. And if I do put bids in, I'll put in for both of them in the hope that if I get one of them, great. Um, they both happen to be central defend uh, central midfielders, and they both play in Europe, which is great. I believe they currently, because they're regens, I believe they both play in France, so I could maybe change it to scouting France. Um, I could try that to narrow it down I may do that I believe when it says France it means they play in that region not that they are French I believe that's how it works I could easily test it Martinelli Mudrick Martinelli oh, straight the keeper and Mudrick just couldn't quite get in for the rebound here's Herrera now Pedri Herrera uh, poor touch. Ah, uh, good play there. Yeah, I believe it's it's the region they play in, rather than their nationality. For example, um, not any really nice turn, but heavy touch. Not the best header there either. Good tackle. Now Kang and Lee. Nice play to Pedri. Kang and Lee again. Pedri gets it back. Kang and Lee. That's poor. Yeah. 
way to get the pass, final pass through in there. Oh, Martinelli. Great finish with his left. What a finish that is. Kangali picks it up, fired in, one touch out from his feet and smashed in with his left. It is a nice pass, but it's all about the turn. Takes away from the defender and then he just smashes it in. Xerxes is coming on for Mudrick. Martinelli has switched out to his normal left-hand position. Xerxes up top. Fabio Vieira is coming on for Diaby. And we're going to push Pedri out wide to the right. And Kangen Lee is going to go off for Bellingham. Yep, pretty much everyone's had a, a decent game today. Diaby has been outstanding as is Pedri Martinelli as well I'm assuming it may be Diaby that gets man of the match because he's got a, had a goal and an assist but so is Martinelli actually now isn't he um, and maybe he's been the more influential in the game sort of over the, the 90 minutes or what will be the 90 minutes Oh, nice play there. Yeah, a shot gets blocked. Pedri, oh, lovely play. Oh, he was just firing a shot. And somehow the defender got in with a tackle. Not sure how that was physically possible from that angle. But he did. Nice tap from Herrera. Now Pedri. Sexy, nice little turn. Poor pass though. Sexy's offside. Wasn't the best of balls anyway. Oh, Pedri's in here. Nice little ball from Xerxes. Oh, Pedri, what have you done? How has he hit that so far wide and over from that distance? I went for complete accuracy. I really didn't need to hit it that. I just probably just need to hit the target, really. Um, went for too much power. Nice defending there. Nice play for Martinelli. And Perry could be in here again. Oh, how is that not a foul? He's getting a shirt pulled. Goalkeeper comes flying in. I think he got the ball, but it was the shirt pulling. There was no way the keeper was going to reach that. Normally. But Pedri was stopped from uh, running by the defender. Again, just... Poor referee. Great ball again to Pedri. A nice ball and Martinelli with another goal. Great work from Xerxes, then from Pedri. I think Martinelli's going to get him out of the match. Nice ball down the lane. It looks like Pedri was just running out of steam there. But he manages to keep the ball and a simple ball across. Don't think we need to watch that one again. It's just a tap in. And that should be full time. And it is 4 0.
yeah, it was a toss-up really between Martinelli, Diaby and Pedri and the ratings reflect that. But some great all-round performances. Subs did a good job when they came on. It doesn't really say that with the stats, but I thought Zirkzee was pretty good and he only got five. The next match is probably the biggest match in our Champions League group at home to Chelsea and then we've got that away match to Barcelona League and then we've got the Copa del Rey so lots of matches coming up that are very important. Looks like there's a little bit of a gap there between the Barcelona match and the Copa del Rey that'll give us a much needed rest. Please join us for those, hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you then. Cheers.